I now want to talk about what is meant by a stationary probability of a Markov chain. Let's consider a simple Markov chain with three states, such as this, which has certain transition probabilities like this. And when we draw transition probabilities such as this 1, 2, we mean that's the probability of going from state 1 to state 2. And this transition probability has two properties. First, it is going to be time homogeneous, which means that it's always the same no matter what time it is. And second, this transition probability depends only on the fact that we are at state 1. Uh, we don't know how we got to 1, and that's the Markov property. Now, the Markov chain is represented by a family of random variables, x sub i. This is the definition of a stochastic process, where this random variable, x sub i, takes on different probabilities, which correspond to the probabilities of being in different states. So we have, for example, the probability that x i equals 1, the probability that x i equals 2, and the probability that x i equals 3. And uh, in, in the earlier uh, segment, we would use this notation x i equals these three probabilities in the vector. But I'm going to be more precise now and introduce this new term pi. And pi i is defined to be exactly this vector, p x i equals 1, p x i equals 2, and p x i equals 3. And we'll assume that pi 0 is the initial probability distribution. And so, for example, if we want to say that the Markov chain always uh, starts at state 2, we'll write it like this, 0 0.0, 1.0, 0, 0.0. 0, 0. And this means exactly that the Markov chain has one probability 1 of being in state 2 at time uh, 0, which is the initial time. Now, if these transition probabilities p12, p1, p23, etc., are, are going to be time independent, one can perhaps guess that the uh, probability of being in a particular state, in other words, the pi values, are also time independent. But you see, if that's not actually true, because we know that when we start off over here, the transition probability of uh, or the probability of being in state uh, two, which is this, is 1.0. So obviously pi 1 is going to be tied to that and so on. But what if you go quite a bit into the future? What about pi 2 million? Well, maybe by that time things have settled down and we've forgotten what it, where we started with. And in fact, uh, for ergodic chains, if you remember, uh, we do have the property that we forgot the initial state. Once you go past a certain time into the future, the past is completely forgotten. So uh, let's introduce this specific stationary probability distribution. We call that pi star. And pi star has the property that if we are in pi star, if, uh, the, uh, sorry, if uh, pi 0 equals pi star, so that means if the initial state is pi star, then for all n, pi n equals pi star. In other words, this for a stationary probability distribution, this is the definition of a stationary probability distribution. So what we're saying is that if we start at pi 0, uh, if we start at pi star initially, then we will continue to be in this state. And so what I'm going to show you is an example of a chain such that this is true. So let me draw this chain over here. It only has two states, 1 and 2. And I've chosen these transition probabilities quite carefully to be very symmetric. So you have probability of 0.25 of transitioning to the other state, and uh, 0.7 and 0.25 being in the same state. And this, of course, corresponds to the transition matrix uh, P11 is 0 0.25, P12 is 0 0.75, and symmetrically we have P21 and P22. Sorry. Now, let's say that we start 
with pi 0 equals 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Then pi 1 is going to be given by uh, the multiplication of this row vector 0 0.5, 0 0.5 with this matrix over here, 0 0.25, 0 0.775, 0 0.75, 0 0.25. And this is the first element is going to be 0 0.5 times 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.75. And the second element, let's ignore that for one for a moment. This is going to be just nothing more than 0 0.5 times 1.0. And that's going to be 0 0.5. And because this is 0 0.5, the other element has got to be 0 0.5 because it has to add up to 1. Whoops. Okay, so let me go over that again. I guess I forgot about the camera. Okay, here we go. So this times this is 0 0.5 times 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.75, which is simplified to 0 0.5 times 1, and that gives us the matrix 0 0.5, 0 0.5, which of course is nothing more than pi 0. And this is equal to pi 1. So if pi 1 equals pi 0, then we can see that pi 2 is going to be equal to pi 1, is going to be pi 0. And in fact, all values for all n, pi n is equal to pi 0, which is going to be equal to therefore pi star. And so the stationary probability distribution of this Markov chain over here is exactly this. This is also equal to pi star. 